Hi, my name is Murshed Zaman. I'm a Microsoft Program Manager in SQL CAT or the SQL Customer Advisory Team. I work with customers to help solve their business problems with Microsoft products. In today's demo, I'll solve a hypothetical customer question using relational data from SQL Server Parallel Data Warehouse 2012 and non-relational data stored inside Hadoop. I'll refer to Parallel Data Warehouse as its acronym PDW. I'm going to demonstrate how you can analyze data by combining the capabilities of Power View and Power Pivot for Excel, Hadoop, and PDW. I've added Power View and Power Pivot to this demonstration to help us visualize the data. SQL Server 2012 PDW has a feature called Polybase that enables you to integrate Hadoop data with PDW data. By using Polybase and its capabilities, you can use an external table to define structure on Hadoop data, query Hadoop data by running SQL statements, integrate Hadoop data with PDW by running a PDW query that joins Hadoop data to a relational table, persist Hadoop data in PDW by querying Hadoop and saving the result as a PDW table, or using Hadoop data as your online archive destination. Since the data is stored in Hadoop, you'll be able to retrieve the data by querying it from PDW. In this demo, we have a problem to solve that involves sending help to evacuate potential victims of a hurricane. I'll tell you more about the problem as we go along. First, I'm going to gather data and store it on two different data stores, Hadoop and PDW. The tool that you see here is called SQL Server Data Tools or SSDT for short. SSDT is the officially supported query tool for SQL 2012 PDW. To save time, I've already imported the data into PDW. This is a relational table that I imported into PDW from the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, which is also called NOAA for short. The table contains rainfall predictions at intervals such as hour 1, hour 6, and so on and so forth, in conjunction with latitude and longitude for states and counties in the United States. The latitude and longitude data is stored as floating point data type into PDW. Now let's switch over to my Hadoop on Windows box and load some data there. I want to see how rainfall correlates with where people are living. To gather data for this, I downloaded census data from the US Census Bureau. The data has population data per state and county in the United States. I'm going to load this data into my Hadoop node by using the Hadoop command shown here. The data is loaded. Let's switch back to SSDT and integrate this data into PDW. To do this, I create an external table on PDW that points to the Hadoop data that I just loaded. Notice that I created the table with the name census external. This is just for readability of the scripts. Let's create a view on top of it and call it census for a friendly name. Let's do a select top 100 from census view that we just created. We see here that the data shows population and population over 69. This population over age of 69 will become important later. Now let's see if we can join Hadoop data with PDW table. Here. I'm using the census view that I just created on Hadoop data and the flash flood view that we created on NOAA data. Now we can join data from Hadoop and PDW. Since Excel is an easy choice among BI tools, I'll open Excel 2013 and import the data into Power Pivot. Let's go to the Power Pivot tab hit Manage from Database from SQL Server. Here I type in my PDW IP address followed by the port number 17001. Username and password. Once done, I get to pick the NOAA database 
hit next select from the list of tables or views next and let's choose the views we created now let's go back in time two weeks before Hurricane Sandy hit the coast of the United States let's say you're a data analyst in FEMA the Federal Emergency Management Agency in the United States you have SQL and BI skills you're in charge of creating a report that will guide the authorities about where they should focus their effort to help evacuate people before the hurricane. Where would you concentrate most of your efforts? Let's say you want to send extra help to the states and counties with dense concentration of people over the age of 69 because that age group may require some extra help for hurricane evacuations. Your report will drive the effort to allocate resources based on population demographic. Now let's switch over to a Power V report that we have created earlier. Here I have a Power V report that integrates data from PDW tables, PDW external tables that we created earlier with data on Hadoop, and an Excel table that shows the states and their acronym. The report shows population demographics over 69 correlated with predicted rainfall for the hour 6 in the path of Hurricane Sandy. You, the analyst, can quickly recommend where to focus your evacuation effort. You can drill down into various states and see the same information by counties. With the new polybase technology, in SQL Server 2012 Parallel Data Warehouse, you don't need to write JavaScripts or MapReduce code. You just need to use your SQL and BI skills that you already have and to understand the problem that you want to solve. Then decide how to integrate data sources available to you. This concludes our demo for today. Thank you for watching.